Hello and welcome to today. This is my vlog for the 2nd of May 2022. Yes, the month of May. That means a third of 2022 has already gone. Where does it go? Time waiteth for no man. Well, uh, this time of the year, the Anglo-Saxons called it Thrymese, which meant um, the month of three milkings. It's because at this time of year, the, gr the grass and the fauna is very luscious and there's plenty of it. So the livestock are ready to be milked three times a day. Now, you could believe that or you could believe that May is named after the Greek goddess Maia. Or is derived from the Latin Moraeus, meaning uh, ancestor or elders. Believe what you wish. It can all be about, about crazy, but all we know is is the month of May. And talking of craziness, uh, for those of you outside our shores here in the UK, uh, our politicians have been letting themselves down again. We've um, had one uh, um, politician had to resign because he was caught watching porn whilst in the House of Commons. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, there used to be a comedian that used to use the phrase, you can't make this stuff up. But yes, uh, this politician claimed he was looking for tractors <laughs> and pornography came up. And not only that, uh, he then said he watched it a second and third time, which was deliberate. So that's why he had to resign. But all these, all these negative comments that we hear about and we have to say a few politicians because we have over 600 I think it's nearer 650 in the UK and most of them are extremely hard working very knowledgeable in their areas and work very hard indeed uh, and are absolutely honest and this uh, came to light some of you may remember we had um, um, expenses scandals and it was found that some politicians were putting in claims for cat food and dog food. And again, in some cases, some pornographic material. Whereas the vast majority were not taking advantage of the system at all. And in fact, there were several that when it was looked into, needed money paid back to them. And they hadn't actually claimed it. So let's... let's Try not to be too negative about our politicians. It is, uh, they do work very long hours and some of the legislation they have to discuss can be very complicated indeed. Now, we're moving on. Technology is moving on. And I read uh, this week that the Australian airline Qantas is hoping to put um, a non-stop flight from Sydney to London and from Sydney to New York from 2025 i do hope it it works out and they claim they'd be able to go from sydney to london in 20 hours which which when i think the first time i flew uh to sydney i did it for some reason via la uh, i went to london to la la to auckland in new zealand and then auckland to sydney it took me 38 hours so to be able to do a non-stop flight for 20 hours well, speed that along, please. It, I did wonder what Qantas means, because it's such a, an unusual name, and I was just wondering whether Qantas was a meaning, but it actually turns out that Qantas is an acronym. It means Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services. And in Australia, Qantas started international flights in 1935, but they actually started proper within Australia in 1920. Seems positively ancient. Well, uh, and uh, I could just quickly say uh, my, uh, my find of the month during April is a uh, French sci-fi series called Missions. I highly recommend it. Here in the UK, we're getting it on iPlayer, but I'm sure there must be other ways across the world that you can get it, or I at least hope so. And to those sci-fi fans who are more uh, Arthur C. Clarke and Asimov, I highly recommend it. Well, I hope I haven't witted on too long, so I shall just say... Enjoy the next couple of weeks, and I'll be whack with you then. 
or I should say, I'll be back with you then. <laughs> Bye for now.